you know one of the good features about Joomla or CMS is that you can be able to set different groups and allow that group to be able to do you know certain things that other people can't do so to create a new group you go to users and you go to groups add new group now this is the group page and all those are different groups and it, these groups can do certain things the permission levels for each one is a little bit different and I have something here to show you um, exactly what each group can do out uh, the public group here's the description of what they can do the register group the author group uh, and then you have the manager group administrator group and then you have the super group so all this group are allowed to do certain things on the front end of your website the front and the back end of your website so it's important that you understand how the groups work so when you're creating groups you want to make sure that you're creating the right groups and giving access to the right people so let's go ahead and create a new group call this group one now this is another important part here is that for the parent whatever parent that you choose is going to be inherited in other words just like you see the description here whenever you create a new group if we create a group call um, if we create a, if the parent group is editor whatever the editor can do the new group that you create is also going to have the same um, they're going to be able to do the exact same thing so let's create a new group and just put in register save and close so now this group one have the same permission as the register 